spread to the world the Lord is come let earth receive her king let every heart prepare him room and heaven and nature sing and heaven and nature sing and heaven and heaven and nature sing from National Community Church. Thanks for letting us be a small part of this special day. And we'd like to extend a special Merry Christmas to family and friends of NCCers who are joining us today. We celebrate this season of joy, gratitude, and expectation, and pray that the wonder of Christ's birth fills your hearts and homes. In the midst of lights and songs and gifts, we know that Christmas can also be a difficult time for many of us. We pray that the peace of Christ would fill your heart and mind. For all of us, our hope is anchored in the reality that over 2,000 years ago, God became flesh and made his dwelling among us. In just a moment, the video will prompt you to pause and read the Christmas story found in Luke 2. Families with kids, you received a special gift at church that will help you walk through the Christmas story as you read. We hope this will make the story come alive for your children this Christmas. I want to wish a Merry Christmas from the Batterson family to your family. Thanks for letting me be a little part 
of your celebration. Uh, I'm just gonna share uh, the shortest message probably you've ever heard. Uh, just a real quick thought on this Christmas day. You know, I remember uh, before I started pastoring NCC, I was at a gathering of pastors and uh, it was actually around Christmas time and there was a guest speaker by the name of Dick Foe. Now, I didn't know Dick real well uh, at that point, but I remember the message he shared. It was the, the simplest Christmas message I think I've ever heard. He said, God left his place. He came to our place. He took our place. And then he invites us back to his place. I've always loved that very simple description of the gospel. Uh, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Now I can't guarantee that you're gonna get uh, the gift that you want uh, today. In fact, maybe you've already opened your gifts. I don't know if you got what you wanted or got what you needed, but here's the bottom line. As followers of Jesus Christ, we've been given an incredible gift. It's the gift of salvation, and it's a gift that all of us can receive. You know, I think uh, Christmas to me is about God with us. Matthew 1.23 uh, says it this way, the virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. At Bethlehem, he's God with us. At Calvary, he's God for us. And at Pentecost, he's God in us. And so my prayer for you and your family is that you would just simply uh, receive and celebrate that gift of salvation that God has given to us. And as we give gifts to one another, uh, what we're doing is reflecting what God the Father has done for each one of us. And so a very Merry Christmas. Uh, pray God's blessing uh, on your family, on your festivities, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you next weekend. God bless.